tools you need for database design. In this session, we're going to go over what tools you need to be able to design a relational database. We're going to look at where you can get them, and we're going to go through step-by-step -step instructions on how to download them and set them up. For our database design tool, which is the main tool that we're going to be using, is a tool called MySQL Workbench. There are a lot of different tools out there, so why are we using this tool? A few reasons. It's free to download. I won't make you go out and buy a tool just to use for this course. It's also available on multiple operating systems. So it's available on Windows and Mac and Linux. So you should be able to use it whatever computer you're using. You might have noticed it's called MySQL. This is a type of database, but we don't actually need to use the MySQL part of it. We don't even need to install a MySQL database to use it. It's a successor to a tool called DB Designer, which I used back in my uni days, which is about 10 years ago. But this tool is still up and running. I'm going to go through some videos to show you how to download and install it. This is my recommended tool, but you can use whatever tool that you like. For PDF files, my favourite tool is Foxit PDF Reader. It's small, fast and free. You could also use Adobe Reader as that comes on many computers. There are some web browsers that have built-in PDF readers as well. But for this course, you only need it to view the files that I've provided in this course. You don't need it to create databases. There are many other tools available for database design, such as Visio, ERWin and Enterprise Architect. Microsoft Visio is an easy to use tool. It's included in Microsoft Office and you can use it to develop simple database models. I've used it before in offices and places that I've worked because it's already installed and have easy access to it. So you can use this if you have it. ERWin stands for Entity Relationship for Windows. It's an enterprise software that has lots of features. I use this back in my uni days as well and it's quite a common piece of software. Enterprise Architect is an enterprise software that's good for companies. It has a lot of other features and can prepare other diagrams. It includes a lot more than what we actually need it for, but if you have it, you can use it. So in summary, we only really need one tool for this course, which is MySQL Workbench. So what's next? We're going to look at how to download and set up MySQL Workbench.